What is up everybody, Mr. Aviator here, bringing you another episode of The Sims 3 here on Aviator Games, and today, you guys, I am going to show you our brand new hotel! Yes! We got the Island Paradise um, expansion pack installed, and we're staying in the same city, you know, we're not going to move to the Tropical Paradise just yet, maybe closer to, like, retirement or something like that, because our whole family's here, I really don't want to move from this city just yet. But let me show you guys the resort we started up. But as we're traveling there, you guys, make sure to slap that like button, Lemonheads. Let's see if we can get 1,200 likes again on today's episode of The Sims 3. Here's the resort. Okay, so here's the big city. I figured I'd buy, I, I took away this park and I made it a resort land. And I was able to purchase it for about 10 grand. And then I spent, I sold the club. We used to own this club over here, the grind. I sold this for about 130 grand. We had 30,000 in savings. So about $160,000 went into this club. I've worked, I mean, into this resort. I've worked a few days since then, so we're back up to 10k. There's a lot of things I still need to do to this resort. I spent a lot of money, you guys, because I discovered blueprints. If you don't know what blueprints are on The Sims, basically, you can lay down little buildings and it, uh, it allows you to, to, like, fill them with stuff automatically to make them look really nice. So here's our resort entrance. Uh, it's really sexy and modern. Then we have a wedding chapel, which is also sexy and modern. <laughs> then we have our little gym... Uh, we have a buffet area, and we also have a club area. Um, but right now, the resort just opened. We're going to look at some reports. I haven't seen any reports for it yet, so I'm really curious to see kind of how it's going. I got a message saying the resort w could close down because it's not profitable right now. So we're going to quickly see uh, our finances. Okay, so we have 16 out of 60 people right now. Hmm, why do we only have 16 people staying here? So our expenses are $1,100 a day. We're only making $800, so we're losing $400 a day. Now, I put one of these backwards, but that's I'm pretty sure that's okay because I left room for them to get in right here, So and, and they can get in you know, from over here, which is less convenient. But then there's this big middle area with the elevators that I think they could just walk into, so I don't think that's the reason uh, why these... Oh, toggle room service uh, currently off, so they're announced on. Uh, on okay, so we got all that and we got to make sure everything's good We can upgrade these and all that. We're not gonna do anything like that now We do have a few employees working for us like at our little outside area. I'm kind of saving up to get a pool I think it's about thirteen thousand dollars. Let me quickly show you guys what I'm talking about here So let's go blueprints. Where are the blueprints? Oh here they are Okay, so I want to save up for a pool which the pool area is really cool that they have uh, Oh, we can get this one this is a beach pool area. It's really tiny, though. But we're trying to get, um, not this $40,000 one, but this $27,000 one. It's shaped like a U. It's got two bars in the center. Uh, it's got a little waterfall. I think it's really cool. And we're going to plop that right here. And then we're also trying to save up for, like, some more dance clubs and stuff that can go here. Um, basically, yeah. Just doing a lot of saving up to make this resort great. Let's see what some of the reviews are, too, because I haven't looked at any reviews. This is its very first day of operation, so I'd be surprised if there are any reviews, period. But let's see. Sometimes there are. Oh. <laughs> Zero stars from yesterday. That's the day we built the resort. I thought every resort would have a pool. Well, congrats. This hotel proved me wrong. We do have a hot tub, I'm pretty sure. I stayed at the a competitor's resort last year and I had a great time at the firewalk pit unfortunately this place cheaped out and decided not to offer one. Oh, they came before the because the resort was technically open as just blank land now it's got this so this one's kind of stupid my family spent the day enjoying the outdoor activities at the resort I searched for the entire place looking for a place to grab some snacks and there was none. okay so that one's false so this one might be more accurate I was somewhat satisfied with my stay I would have loved to have more food options well now there are food options like snacks, food, drinks, so those, great value. The pictures of this resort online were very deceiving. So that that's all poppycock because that doesn't really matter. But this, this might be more consistent. I could have gone to the beach, but I expected there would be a pool. Damn. So we do need a pool. I brought my fiancé to this resort right before our wedding, and let's just say Firewalking Pit quickly took care of our cold feet. Haha, <laughs> get it? The resort needs more landscaping. Okay, so we need flowers, we need a pool. This resort is so clean, I upgraded my 5 second rule to the 30 second rule. Okay, the line to use the firewalk pit is so long. I don't plan on staying here again until they decide to add some hot tubs to their amenities list. I'm pretty sure we have a hot tub. Pretty sure we have... What is this? Oh, it's just a firewalk pit. Okay, so we need the pool area. We need a hot tub. 
We need uh, to add, like, see, I got these fences. We need to add shrubbery all along that. But this, to finish this resort off to the way I want it, it's probably going to cost me $60,000, maybe 50000 if we budget it a little bit. And that's a lot of money, so we're going to have to see what we can turn this resort into. I would hate to lose it and lose all of our money, so... We definitely have to make sure we keep an eye out for that over the next couple of days here, next couple of episodes. Uh, but yeah, and also, another update, Samantha grew up to be a child. Now, I don't know why it said I raised her. Uh, well, she had a rough upbringing. That's what it said. I don't believe it because she learned how to walk. She learned how to talk. She had like three music skill. She was really good. And they wouldn't let me pick a trait for her, though. She said... They said you had a rough upbringing with her, so they gave her she hates the outdoors. So she hates being outside. When she's outside, see, she gets a minus 20 mood uh, decrease because she just hates it. And she looks totally weird. <laughs> so that's that's my daughter. Uh, so I, it's kind of disappointing with the way she was kind of brought up. We tried our best. Like, I can't believe that she turned out that way. What is this? Let off steam. She is a genius, though, and is brave, but I don't know if firefighter or military are good career choices for her. Maybe scientist or something. Something that requires her genius and, um, you know, being inside. <laughs> so that's something we're going to have to look at, too. Kind of sucks that she was brought up that way. But right now, you guys, today is Leisure Day. So on Leisure Day, if you don't know what it is, it's the summer holiday that allows you to have the day off of work, get paid for it still, and you can have some bonfires and, and, and you know, invite people over for some pool parties and all that good stuff. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to have a small pool party to get to know some of our neighbors. Um, we have a lot of celebrity neighbors that live around us, and then we're also hopefully going to be able to pitch our hotel a little bit and see if we can get people to come and stay over there. So let's do that. So we're going to go to my phone here. Um, so let's see, where is the party? Throw a party. Uh, we're gonna make it a pool party, because we have a huge pool. I was thinking, if I want to finish off the resort fast, I could sell my house. <laughs> but I'm like, I love this house, I, I just cannot see myself leaving it. Okay, so 11 in the morning, uh, swimwear only. Now, who do we want to invite? Friends first, so let's get all these people over here, because they're our friends. Oh, Bella, or Lola, we haven't seen her in forever, and she's a five-star celebrity, so sh that will be good to have her over here. Um, Becca, we'll get her over here. Boxer, uh, who else? Julia, yeah, Julia and Max, let's get them over here. Let's get our kids over here. Where's Max? Is Max not my friend? Oh, wait, his last name would be Letter, duh. Okay, so let's see, uh, Max, where are you, son? <laughs> we only have Julia, where's... Well, we're going to have to... I guess Max can't come today. Wow, that sucks. Okay. Maybe he's at work or something. Let's get Emily Starr over here. Let's get her over here. So a whole bunch of celebrities. Let's invite them over to our pool party. Pool party starts at 11 in the morning. Now let's go to the backyard. We want to throw a successful party. So, hmm, what do we need? We're going to have, we're gonna launch this. Serve some food. $250 worth. Then we're going to go over to the music. We're going to pump up the music. So let's turn this on. Let's change the volume to... Well, it's on high. Okay, let's make sure that the music is on pop. And that's that's all good. So everything's good for the party. We're perfectly ready. We got the hot tub. We got the food. We got our butler. She's making food. Everything's going to be perfect. So this is our first party in a very long time because we've been stressed out with raising kids. Let me check Max out really quick because I have to see what's going on here. So family. Oh, that's household. Okay, so let me see visitors, friends. Okay, so Max, Max, Max. Where is Max? So there's my daughter. Does Max not exist anymore? Did he just, like, fall off the face of the earth? Did Max die? Did my son die? You don't think I would have got word of this or something. Because Julia is still alive and well. You know? And we're going to invite her household over. Because Max should live with her. So we're going to invite her whole household over. There's Max. Oh, we're acquaintances. What the fuck? Do you have the dance floor? No, thank you. So we're acquaintances. So basically, me and my son aren't friends. You don't have to pay. Oh, we only had to pay $137 for the buffet. Okay. So we're going to try to get my son over here and try to become friends with him because that is some weird stuff. Okay, so let's have her grab a hamburger. Samantha's got to eat. She is starving. My maid, she just walks around. Or our butler, I guess I'd say. Our butleress. Our, but, our but, but, butler. Butleress. <laughs> What's a girl name for but butler, I guess? Okay. She walks around in her swimsuit all day. It's a onesie, so it's not very attractive. Oh, we're getting a massage from our wife here. 
So we're hoping for Max and Julia to come over. They haven't been to the house since they moved out. Since we bought them their $45,000 penthouse suite in the middle of the city. Pretty ridiculous, I know. But hey, they're our kids, so we had to hook them up. Now mom and dad are suffering, though, because we only have $10,000 cash right now. Which is really killing me to have only, like, you know, 10 or 11K. Oh, here we go. The party's about to start. Everyone, come on in. Let's have a great party. Oh, we have limos showing up. We have some beater cars showing up. Okay. Okay, this is good. Any big five-star celebrities out here? What is this girl doing? Oh, she brought some food. She brought some food. Okay, that's the kind of girl I like. Everyone, come on in. Oh, this is going to be a great party, you guys. Okay. So let's see, any good goals, buy a pool launcher. So this is a summer party. This is one of the last days of summer, too. Yeah, 81 degrees, only three days till fall. So this party should be pretty interesting. Graceful gets wet. So our kids are showing up. Do our kids hate us? Do our kids... Are they not liking me anymore? <laughs> Dad's not so cool anymore, but I'm an actor. Look at we're almost promoted to level 8, too. Look at this. It's crazy how close we are to level 8 in the film career. Wait, is that Max? No, it's Ryan. God, that looks like Max. Okay, so we're going to swim and hope that Max and them show up. Did they say, like, hey, we're not going to show up? I don't think they did. Ju There's Julia. Okay, where's Max, then? Julia, where's your brother? Where is your brother? Julia, let's mind meld. Let's mind meld, Julia. Okay, so let's get out of the pool. Okay, so we're going to go be friendly and we're going to mind meld. Get out of the pool. Get out of the pool. Okay. So let's go talk to Julia. She's a fellow nerd. I don't know where my son is. Does he really, does he just like hate us? He hates his family? The people that raised him gave him this beautiful house? Let him grow up in the greatest lifestyle of all time? Because he, she, Julia was born in the small house, I, I, if I can recall correctly. She was born in the small crappy house, so she knows what living in the poverty level was like. But Max, I'm pretty sure, was born in this house? Or was he not? Was he born in the country home too? Maybe he was, but he was really young. Julia was already like a child, and he was like a toddler. So he was pretty much 100% raised here. What's this? Have photo taken. Can't even talk to my daughter because these freaking people. Uh, let's, uh, let's chat with her. Let's see how she's doing. Okay, so let's go talk to my daughter. I don't know where Max is. He just decided, hey, you know what? We're not going to come today. Just not going to come because I don't care about my family. Even though they raised me, and they raised me right. Gave me this beautiful mansion to grow up in. Help me get good grades. My dad and my... I went to college with my son! Why? Why would he not like me? I just don't understand because I went to college with him. Let me see. I went to college with him. It's got to be pretty close to being like total friends. Because I went to college with him. We spent like a few weeks in a dorm together. Well, actually like a house. Oh my god. Okay, yeah. We're only acquaintances here. And he is my son. Well, I'm friends barely though with Samantha. So I got I to gotta improve my relationships with my... Okay, so let's let's invite him over. So we're going to call Max right after this. Be like, son, come to the party. I don't know why you're not at the pool party. We're going to try to become friends with him. We're going to become... I think we're best friends with Julia. So I'm not too worried about her. So let's see. Let's see Julia just to make sure. Yeah, we're best friends with Julia. So I'm not worried about her. Max said he'll come over in a little bit. I'm excited. Father-son bonding time. Actually, something suddenly came up and I can't make it. Sorry. Max is ditching me. Max just dodged me. Oh, man. That is not... That is just not right. That is just not right, guys. I can't believe my son would would totally dodge me. Okay, so right now we're going to swim it off. Let's go check on what Carolina is doing. We haven't checked in on her in a while. What does she want to do? Swim in the ocean? That's not going to happen, Carolina. Cool down so you're hot right now. Oh, that's not good. This pool party, everyone could burn up. Ooh, who is this? Holy crap. Not, not saying anything there, but holy crap. <laughs> her eyes are really bugged out, though. She's like, nah, nah, nah. <laughs> Okay, so let's have her grab a hamburger, because I'm sure she's hungry. Yeah, she is. Okay. Am I hungry? Because I've been out all day. A friendly introduction to Ryan. Order a pizza. Swim in the ocean. Okay, no, none of that is needed. None of that is necessary. So we're going to check on the hotel later tonight, because we had 16 guests, I believe. And we're going to see if we can get that number up or, or what we have to do. Okay, so let's see. Hmm. Okay, so this pool party is going good. Summer evening. We just got to worry about our son. Maybe we can just... Let's give our son a call. How about that? So let's call Sim. Let's just chat. You know, we don't need to... We don't need to invite him over. Maybe he's got some hard feelings. College days. You know, I cheated on his mother back then. 
Uh, actually, was he with us for that? No, he wasn't. He wa was he even born? I think Julia was born. I don't know if he was, though. Okay, so let's see. So friends, co-workers, so friends. Actually, in we have to go to all because he's not even a friend, which is horrible. Did I just pass him? No, there he is. So Max. So we're going to chat with Max really quick. Hopefully, we can build up our relationship a little bit with him via the phone. And maybe tomorrow we can get him over here and try to talk this out. we got to work on our relationship with Samantha, though, our, my newest daughter, because we can't have her hating us like, you know, Max possibly hates us. Like, Julia loves us. I did a good job with Julia. I really cared. I really cared with Max, too, though. And we worked out to get to, together every single day. God, I just don't understand. That's just... That is... I, I'm mind-blown, you guys, right now about this. I don't like that Ryan guy. He keeps wanting my photo. No, Samantha, don't go in the water. Don't go in the water, Samantha. I'm trying to talk to you. I'm trying to be your friend and your dad. Super dad. <laughs> Tell a funny story. So we're going to try to... Try to get better acquainted with our kids. You know, me and Julia, 100% good. You know, we're, we're great. Um, me and Samantha, eh, we're okay. So we gotta keep this going. What's her star level? I, I don't know. I'm not sure what her star level is. I think Julia is the same boat as Samantha. We're all famous right here in this circle. <laughs> okay, so actually, no, she must not be famous at all. Wow, that's pretty crazy. I don't think Carolina's famous at all either, though, so that's pretty weird. Uh, so we're gonna admire... Admire our daughter because she's she's a great person. She does great things. We're gonna tell her a story. Uh, we are going to uh, get to know her a little bit. <laughs> get to know our own daughter. We're gonna uh, also admire her for efforts. I, I don't know what to kind of go with her right now. I don't know if I want to make her a scientist or what. Because I know she hates our outdoors. I don't want her to be miserable her whole life. So that's something we're gonna have to decide. Uh, come on, I want to be best friends with you, girl. Be best friends with my daughter. <laughs> okay, chat with Julia. No, mind meld with Julia. Buy a... Ooh, a pool water slide for the resort. Oh, we don't even have a pool, though. We need to go to work. We need to make some money. We could sell some things, but I really don't want to sell anything. I want to kind of just keep my house how it is. And I also want to have, like, a great resort. My big goal is to have a five-star resort that makes a ton of money. Have an amazing mansion. Maybe even bigger than this house. And then also buy some businesses. And then just be wicked rich and be able to retire and do all that good stuff. Okay, so let's see. So she thinks we're being sociable. We're going to keep on pushing this because I think we can really get this uh, friendship developed today. So let's uh, get to know her a little bit more and flatter her. Come on, best friends. Damn it. Damn it, Samantha. Okay, well, we're still friends. We're, we're pretty damn good friends right now. So she's in elementary school. So I'm not, I'm not, too, I'm not too upset. What's this? Listen? Ugh, we got to listen to somebody now, guys. We have to listen. Okay, so let's quickly eat some leftover pumpkin pie. God, we got so much leftover food now. And then we're going to go to bed pretty early, I think. No, we don't have work tomorrow. We don't have work the next three days now. So tomorrow will be a good day to manage the resort and all that good stuff. So let's go to sleep after we eat. And I'm ready to just hit the sack. Also, I think we'll just have Carolina go to sleep. Actually, we'll have her shower first and then go to sleep. And then Julie, or Samantha, I almost called her Julia. Oh, man. Okay, so then we're going to have her shower and we're going to have her sleep as well. Uh, let's get rid of all these tasks. Get a no, she doesn't need a lemon snake saying go outside or go inside. Oh, she wants to go inside. Oh crap, I could have easily done that one. Become best friends with her dad. Okay, we're gonna make that one of her goals. That's a good goal to have. Become friends with your daddy. Uh buffet table for the resort. We already have three, so I don't think we need more. Okay. Now I'm pretty sure the party's over. That had to be over. Party kept getting bigger. Oh, the party kept getting better and turned out to be amazing. Zachary is no stranger to hosting parties, that's for sure. So the party was amazing. Wow. I've no, I don't think I've ever had an amazing party. So that's something. So that's something to really to marvel at. Okay, we got to turn this music off, though, because if that doesn't drive me crazy... Uh, turn off. Okay, so perfect. The party's over. Now let's, let's fly over to our hotel here and see how it's doing. I'm very curious. Um, I want to just look at the reports. I want to look at the reports, and I want to see the finances. Okay, so 51 out of 60. Okay, we're making money now. Okay, look at this. We're making 1400 bucks a day. Now, that money just automatically comes to me. I don't have to collect it like my businesses or anything. So we're going to start to make some bank on this, and then we're going to be able to really get it going, really get things upgraded. Okay, so let's head back over to the house. We have to write a drama novel. That's right. Okay, we have three days off. We're going to work on our drama novel. Now that we're awake, I think it's... Whoa, I just got dip-kissed. Okay, time to work on our drama novel. So, let's see. Um, 
Hmm. Uh, where is it? Writing. Okay, so we got a can't. We're going to scrap this dirty laundry book I was going to work on. I don't think that's going to be successful anymore. Boom. Scrapped it. Now we're going to go to writing, though, and we're going to start a drama novel. He's trying to get away. He's like, no, I don't want to write it right now. Come on, man. Okay, so get in there. Let's write this drama novel. So this is a drama novel. It's going to be called Live and Love. Boom. Live and Love. It sounds like an amazing drama novel. So we're going to start writing this because some guy wants us to do it. He's going to give us, like, celebrity points and some cash and better relationship with him. So I'm like, why not? We can become more famous of an author and all that good stuff. Are you starving right now? Why don't you just go to the refrigerator? When I was a kid, I knew how to go to the refrigerator, and I know a nutrition cube. What is that? What does that do? I got to see this now. Okay, so she eats it. And is it going to... Oh, it's just a little purple cube. Oh, wow. That is really cool. Okay, wow. Instant 100% satisfied. Okay, so shower, and then we're going to have her use the toilet. Uh, then we're going to have her kind of work on some stuff. Now, she's got this computer. Let's see. She can write. She can browse the internet. Uh, chat with someone. I thought they could do more as a kid. Okay, so let's do writing. Let's have her... No, yeah, yeah, let's have her just... No, no, we don't need her to do anything. Let's have her just be a kid. She can do whatever she wants. How's our drama novel coming? Eh, not too, not too, not too bad. About, about a quarter of the way done, I'd say. Okay, what's Carolina working on? Oh, wait, what? Oh, she's got school? Oh, she's got school on her... Okay, okay, I didn't think she... Had... Oh, it's Friday, duh. Okay, yeah, okay, have fun at school. Um, so we're gonna have her work hard. We really don't care about her having friends right now at this point in her life. She's gonna move out of grade school fast anyways. Ooh, collect profits, $856. There we go, we're making some money now. Uh, rising writer, deliver a book you wrote to Alan Blah. Uh, no, she doesn't need to deliver a book. Is she a celebrity at all? I don't think she is. No, she's, she's not a celebrity at all. God, we're just crushing the celebrity. I think we're five now. Yeah, we're five stars. Almost at 100% celebrity, like as big as you can get. So this book should put us over the top. Uh, okay, so Samantha's working hard. Samantha hates outdoors. We get it, Samantha. Uh, research supermarket. Okay, so she wants to research. She's going to be really smart. So that's that's our big goal. I think scientist is definitely the path I'm leaning towards for her right now. For Samantha. Going to make her a super smart scientist. Oh, what's this? Oh, Carolina's got work. Go to work, Carolina. Run errands for your supervisor. Wait, I think she's... Uh, yeah, she's pretty much going to get promoted today. Good, good, good. And we're going to work in our underwear for the whole day. Yay! <laughs> I love it. I do. This This is actually me in, in real life. This is probably me right now. Actually, it is. I'm in my underwear. I do have a shirt on, though, right now. But underwear, shirt, and my computer. <laughs> so, it's, it's like real life. Okay. Care to make a donation... Meet uh, with Sims and obtain five campaign fund donations. No, no, thanks. She's not going to do that. We might have a party for it eventually off camera just because I don't want to keep having parties on camera. Okay, so let's see. Oh, God, this novel. I want to go check on the resort. See, this resort is fun for me. I love having resorts. We can own like four resorts if we really want to. Seven resorts. I think we definitely will move to the tropical area one day. I think I want to have Samantha grow all the way up, though. Um, and that's one thing we're probably going to wait for. So... Let's go to the management. We're going to view the finances. Okay, 41 out of 60. So today we have less people in there. We haven't filled it yet. And that's kind of concerning for me because we're spending a lot of money on the towers. We can upgrade some of the towers. But I don't think we're going to upgrade these towers until we get that pool area and the shrubbery. And then maybe a hot tub too. If we can get all of that, that would be amazing. Uh, I'm not going to expect all of it. Maybe this episode we can get the pool. We're getting close. So if we can start making a little more bank in this hotel, we'll be good to go. She just got promoted, got a big bonus. She's vice president. Okay, okay. We finished some chapters of our book. Um, I don't think we're going to be able to upgrade it, to be honest, in this episode. That sucks. I wanted to get the pool. I wanted to. Okay, so let's... Oh, I'm like, why can't I zoom in? Oh, look at that view. <laughs> okay, so let's get it. God, this house is just this house is just beautiful. I can't get over it, you guys. Cosmo wants out of my office, I'm pretty sure, because he probably sees Duchess on the other side. What is it, Cosmo? What is it, bud? Okay, so let's... He was like, what? I, oh, do we finish it? We got level 8 writing skill. Oh, wait, is he just giving up? Continue writing. You're almost done. He's like, no. Oh, he's stressed. Okay. Play computer games. Let's do some sports games. I love sports games. Let's get those going. Okay. That should get away the stress. Oh, God, I forgot. Samantha. These kids like never remember so she's probably super stressed So we're gonna have her eat some leftover pumpkin pie 
and then play a little computer games, you know. Uh, she is a genius, so maybe... Wait, does it get... Oh, it really, actually doesn't really get stressed for, for her, so that's good. We're going to still have her play a little bit of computer games before we have her do her homework, which she did not do yet. Now, what kid was that? Was it Julia or Max that was really good at doing their homework? I think it was Julia. Like, no matter what, she would get home, do the homework instantly. I think both of them are actually pretty good with it. Um... Uh, fine arts course materials. No, she doesn't need that right now. Are you trying to jump ahead, girl? Trying to jump ahead of your your standards, your standards in society. Okay. Um. Boom. Exit that. Time to continue writing our book. He's like, no. Okay. Uh. So there. Her funds all the way up. Go do your homework, Samantha. You got to get it done. It's already ten o'clock at night. Jesus, what were you doing? What were you doing all day? I, I was not paying attention, and she definitely is one of those girls I'm going to have to watch now because she's not going to be doing her homework. Ah, Jesus. My guy's stressed trying to finish this book. Couldn't do it today. Or did he? Oh, we just been gifted a TV. Um, okay, so no, we didn't finish it. So he's just super tired, and we have to work. No, we don't have to work. God, we have two more days off. I don't know why he's being such a baby. Okay, so let's have her shower, have her go to sleep. Now, as soon as Samantha's done, I'll let her go to sleep too. She's getting really tired, but I can't let her go to sleep until that's finished, though. Just because I don't think she's going to be able to finish it in the morning, and I'd rather have less sleep than no homework done. Okay, so use that, take a shower, then go to sleep. So that way she can wake up, roll out of bed in the morning, and that's it. She's ready to go to school. Let's see, 100% complete, good. Everything went well, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Sims 3, though. I'm going to have another episode for you guys tomorrow if we hit that 1,250 like limit. I'm going to add 50 likes to it. Let's see if we can do it. You guys crush it. And in the comment section down below, say what you kind of like to see with the resort. Uh, maybe some like, what kind of shrubbery and stuff like that. And until next time, remember to take it easy. Live it squeezy.